Hey everybody, it's me again, Kale, here once more playing Secret of Evermore. And last time we left off, we were about to go inside the deepest lairs of the bug muck. And try, try and save Strongheart, which, yeah, let's, we should probably, we, 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 should, we should probably do that. He, he's been in there for a while now. Oh, there's a bit more to the dungeon, I forgot about that. I just assumed it was the, the falling platforms and then you in. I guess I got a few more maggots to kill them. That's fine. Oh yeah, I can go out into the uh, outside and try and track down more treasures. I like treasures. The reason why I get into adventure for the treasure. Petal. Sorry, was there actually something over here, buddy? Oh, there was. Oh, damn. Good job, boy. Got something else over here, buddy? No, just fucking with me. That's fine, too, I guess. Afraid to snuffer bug. Let me know for near stuff. Cause I want stuff. Like this stuff. I want this stuff too. Basket. Good boy. Any finds? No. Oh, got some roots. Again, nothing to cast it with, but I got them. They'll be useful later, I think. All right, now it's boss time. Oh, hey, it's the title card monster. He's right there. Well, that's a big bug. Oh, jeez! For heat items. Excellent. Ow. Suck! Flare! Braxes. Now just keep exploding his heart. Seems like the play. Oh, that's not good. No, oh, no, he hurt my doggo. You monster. Back on your feet, doggo. Meanwhile. Back at the ranch. Ow! Do the thing again. Something like that. And actually. Nice! Damn. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, no. 
course they're not attacking me because I'm about to die. Get some nectar up in my wounds. Thanks, buddy. Double spell. Ow. All right, time to play hardball. experience for these things. I really hope I'm getting experience for these things. Got him! And a bunch of, and a bunch of money. Nice! Ooh! Just lash this claw to a stick. I'll be good to go. Oh, nothing? Okay, that's fine. Now I got a blade weapon, I can cut things open. Like this cocoon! You're a brave adventurer indeed. Thank you for your saving me. I am Strongheart. The village of Fire Eyes. I am a member, in good standing, of the Billion Order of Alchemists. I'm Kale. This is my dog, Laz. He hasn't been himself lately. I'm very happy to meet you both. I was searching for alchemy ingredients when I stumbled upon this monster. If you didn't come along and save me, I would have been eaten alive. Please, it's a gift of my thanks. Ooh. Good luck, Kale. And more important, we got an axe now. It means we can cut through things. Like bugs. Kind of. <laughs> so, you know, assumedly. One would hope. Ow! Dick. Cut it out! Unfortunately, its big attack is pretty slow to, on the wind-up. It's got a lot of startup frames. Mammoth Guard! Now oh, I didn't need to buy that thing. Should have bought the hat. A little bit more effective. You know, in the long term. Making sure I didn't miss any gourds. What was that? Panics the thing? I get that. Can't attack that pupper. Can you just sniff for me? Over here, maybe?
Where are you trying to leave me, buddy? There we go. Give me that good, good ash. All up in that ash. I missed. You missed too. Like the pair of missing boys, aren't we? Ooh. Oh, good no. Oh, good nose, doggo. Bunch of clay, biscuit, water. Oh. I've been through a lot. A lot of bugs and baddies out there. Probably giving you a hard time. You're telling me. There's something that should help you out in the sand, tar, and lava. Formula of acid rain. Three parts water and one part ash, and you'll have a potent concoction. Oh, mind if I do! Yes, please. Got so much of both of those. Just three parts water, so let's just fucking stock up on water. Bit more ash, too. Okay. I'm gonna save some money from there. Yes, thank you. That's another important thing. Alchemists and inns are usually the ones you want to go to to save your game. Can't carry more water. Well, that would have been good to know. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, boy. That was that was my bad. Such a fool. A foolish, fooly fool. But I am a fool who can drown things in acid rain. Play some hardball. Just doing that to level it up. It takes a lot to level things up in this game. Good shot, buddy. I can't take any more water. Dang. You know what I can do? I can take more water. We just fucking whiffed on all counts. Now I'll take that water. Cross slash. Ow. Dick. Get back here. rain or something? No? Okay. Maybe one day we'll know. Maybe. Oh yeah, I know these places. Occasionally have alchemy stuffs. Like oil. Hot damn. Anything else, buddy? There it goes. Baller. Yeah. 
kill our ways to these plants some more. Ow. Anybody? No? Did you panic stuff before? It's fair. Alright, I did your thing. Let's talk to Fire Eyes. Yeah, so she can generously reward us for our efforts. I hear you're victorious in the far reaches of the bug monk. I don't know, it was a bug hunt. We got out of it okay. Now I've got this nifty claw too. It's like an axe. Well, that's... that's great. Strongheart has returned to the hut. South of the village. And now the village faces a new crisis. The volcano to the north is rapidly cooling down. The strain continues. We could have an ice age on our hands. I'm not certain that's how climate change works, ma'am. I'd like to help you, but I really gotta get start looking for a way back home. Your best bet may be to track down the source of this atmospheric icing. See, I'm originally from Podunk, too. My grandpa is an inventor who lived in the mansion on the hill. He made a machine that could send people into worlds of their own design. Since I enjoy all things prehistoric, I turned up this world of cave people and dinosaurs. Supposed to be here for a couple of hours, but it's been a couple of decades. Now and again, I sense evidence of outside influences on our world. This recent drop in temperature could be the work of someone from the real world. That person has control over the vicious volcano. The vicious volcano vipers. If you go to the source, center of the volcano, you might find someone, or something, that could lead you back home. And you might just save our village at the same time. Wow! It's like what happened in Pale People of Planet V. About a bunch of astronauts who stuck on an exact replica of Earth. Well, it's populated by zombie vampires and... Well, actually, isn't anything like that at all. You're adorable. If you're finished with your little anecdote, though, I can give you the ability to call on me in difficult situations. Ooh! If you need my help, especially in more challenging confrontations, you can throw a call bead on the ground. I'll appear in a flash, and be able to summon one of my spells. No offense, but how could a girl with a couple help a couple of adventurers like us? I've learned a few tricks since I've been here. Let me show you why they call me Fire Eyes. Step back. Call me if you need my help. Point taken. Alright, said he was in the hut south of the village. Probably out pe Oh, there was that, um... Area surrounded by the tall grass that I couldn't cut through before. Give that a shot, huh? Maybe he has a neat new alchemical formula for me. I'd be all about that. What you got, buddy? Nice! Good find. Nectar. Ow. Thanks, bud. Got him. Ooh, a shell hat! Glad I came over here before I went and buy, bought stuff. Nicer.
Yo, Strongheart! Hello, Kale. I'm back in business after the terrible experience of the bug monk. Thanks to you, I'm at the big bug's dinner. Please, take this cure formula. Cure you from poison and other ills. Two parts root, one part oil. Alright, so it's not healing, but that's still kind of nice. Hot. Yes, please. Also, I totes forgot to set that skill. Can can I? Yes, please. Thank you. Imagine poison is bound to come up. And yes, I would like to save my game. And I think with this, and our new task set before us, we'll call the episode. Hope you're all enjoying yourselves, and if you are, please send a double like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll come back next time and head on up to the volcano. Till then, you know what's to subscribe to stay. See you next adventure. Later!